Hello and welcome to another Autoblog Shortcut. This is your editor Chris Paukert and I'm here in Toronto, Canada at the launch of the uh, 2014 Mercedes-Benz S-Class, uh, their new flagship. I'm sitting right now in a Eurospec S500 which will be badged as the S550 when it comes to America. Uh, but it's uh, really an incredible increase in available luxuries and just the general quality of the interior. I drove to Toronto in the current S550 uh, and this is really head, shoulders, and a few other body parts ahead of the last generation model, which was itself not too shabby. Uh, one of the features we wanted to focus on today here is the uh, air quality system, uh, and in general the HVAC system. Seems like a strange, uh, kind of mundane thing to focus on, but this car is really quite incredible. As you'd expect, there are four different zones uh, for every passenger. Uh, here is the driver's side, there's the passenger side. Each has their own fan speed. Each has their own available auto setting, and uh, there are a few other hidden features here. If you click on menu, then the 12-inch screen above resets uh, to the air freshener function right now, uh, which is what we wanted to show you. So the air freshener is a feature that's sort of adapted uh, from Maybach, uh, the premium brand that has gone away uh, for Daimler. But uh, it's, it's pretty clever, uh, and the way it works is there's a canister that's located in the glove box, which we will get to in a second. Um, that's filled with perfume that's pumped through the HVAC vents. Uh, and thankfully you can adjust the strength of it. Uh, there's one which is the mildest uh, and quite pleasant. Um, you, you don't even notice it immediately uh, all the time. And then there's two and three. Three being just this side of cloying. Uh, there really isn't that uh, you know old grandma at church setting uh, where it's really overpowering. Uh, which is nice, but um, it's still quite strong, probably not something you'd want uh, every day, um, except maybe if you come out of a, you know, a crowded and urban environment with a lot of soot and uh, exhaust fumes. So we're going to back out here, um, back down to the glove box, so you can see actually where the perfume goes, and it's housed in this nice little glass and plastic canister here that's mounted very cleverly with a magnet. Uh, and right now we are sampling something called uh, Freeside Mood, uh, which I guess is sort of relaxed. Um, but there are different fragrances. I think it's going to launch with four different fragrances that will be available at Mercedes-Benz dealers. Uh, I would expect that other, uh, you know, maybe some boutique uh, perfume manufacturers will cotton onto this shortly. Um, but there's a magnet here on the top, and it just fits right in this lighted dispenser. Uh, it doesn't shift around during hard driving. It just sits there quite nicely. Um, so, easily uh, replaced and changed according to your mood, and uh, easily stopped according to your mood. One of the interesting things that Mercedes-Benz found is they didn't want a constant flow of this perfume because your, your nose adjusts and then you don't smell it after a while. So it just sort of periodically spritzes the air inside. You don't actually feel it, you don't hear it, it just all of a sudden uh, you, you smell it uh, a little bit. This is a very high spec Dizinho model. And one of the many features you'll note right away is that it has dual screens here uh, where you can surf the internet. Uh, you can see where you are on the navigation system. You can change the music, you can watch movies, and so on and so forth. You have dual zone climate control as you would expect. Heated and cooled cup holders also as you'd expect. There's the cooled, there's the hot. Shows you some of the ambient lighting. Uh, which is also replicated in various places with light pipes underneath some of the trim. You'll note the uh, diamond quilting there, uh, which is also replicated on these very stunning uh, sort of navy blue seats. But there are a lot of different color combinations. Uh, and even the belts are unusual. They're thinner, first of all. They're two-tone, uh, and they're an unusual fabric. Um, you know, just a little bit higher class. Uh, they're available with airbags. Um, and actually the seat belt receptacles here, the clips are active as well. They motor out to make it easier for you to put them on. Apparently that was a problem before. And uh, there's full door controls here. You'll see that there's the remote control which will help you uh, navigate those twin screens we just talked about. And you can also see there, speaking of twins, there are these massive uh, skylights. The front uh, opens like a traditional moonroof. And uh, you can see in the middle there is actually part of the optional Burmeister Voice of God stereo system, uh, which has these incredibly unique and ornate vents 
they might be a little bit much for some people, uh, but they are no doubt uh, the key to spectacular sound underneath. Here you've got all the controls that you would, just like in a front seat for most cars, uh, power controls for the headrest, the backrest, the bottom squab, and uh, the you can extend the front cushion here, which actually also incorporates uh, sort of an ottoman-like feature, which we'll get to momentarily. There's heating and cooling, uh, memory features, uh, and you can push the front seat out of the way for maximum legroom, uh, provided you don't have a front seat passenger. Or you can just push this button right here, which is recline, and you can see that the front seat has already started to move out of the way, and it's sort of this uh, terrifyingly complex motorized ballet. You'll note that the seat is pitching forward, zooming forward, the headrest is going down, and it's exposing the uh, rear seat air vents. Now the seat is actually going to pitch up and forward. So it's way out of the way. You have a ton of legroom here. And now the backrest has started to articulate. The bottom swab is coming out. And this leg support here, which is padded just like that very comfortable headrest, is popping out. We're not quite done yet because underneath the front seat, a little uh, ottoman kicks out for your shoes. Quite something. Now you can also uh, put up the power side shades and the rear shade and adjust the uh, roof shade with the buttons on the door. But one of the other features we wanted to show you here is the center console has these wonderful airline style trays that rotate out and extend open for your laptop or uh, paperwork as you are on the move signing paperwork to take over some companies and then it folds quite easily back into the center console which also has multiple USB ports a power port RCA cables or uh, jacks and whatever else you need there's additional quite deep storage back here you can put your movies in there and all in all, it is a really first-class environment. Uh, really, every inch the equal for a lot of Bentley and Rolls-Royce products. So they've learned a lot of lessons uh, from the closed Maybach division. We are expecting a long wheelbase Pullman to sort of slot into that. But uh, while you're living here in the uh, standard wheelbase S550, life isn't too bad. Thanks for watching. This has been another Autoblog Shortcut with Chris Pockert.